All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. And this is the tube that I have. And of course it's new packaging, so I'm gonna have to open up this top piece. The color that I bought is 202 Creamy Natural. Uh, I used to buy like a lot of like these yellow shades. And for some reason I am kind of learning that my skin is a little bit more on a cool tone versus yellow. So if I have like a yellow tone shade, then it looks like I have like a suntan right here and then everything else is kind of more pale. So it is kind of liquidy. So I just put a little bit and just wanted to see how well it applies from other reviews. It kind of smells of alcohol, which is a bit concerning because this is supposed to be a um, foundation for drier skins and supposed to give you like a more dewy finish uh, but alcohol usually dries so not sure how this is going to do but we'll we'll see so i'm going to be using my moist beauty blender this is from real techniques from the reviews that i've seen um for this product they're said they said that you can uh, apply like a thin layer and you can kind of build up which is kind of cool because some foundations they look lo like really cakey if you start to build it up uh, so I'm kind of interested to see if this foundation would look cakey so that will be my number one concern is the smell actually it kind of smells like alcohol so I don't understand how is that supposed to give you a dewy finish especially if you're like a drier skin how is that gonna help you you know maintain that moisture throughout the day it's definitely in compared to the foundation that I usually wear which is the Rimmel London one classic ivory um, the color is very close and the coverage is actually um, medium to light the first round and if you needed to do like you know another layer uh, you can do that as well but it actually looks sufficient with just one layer so I don't know I'm probably just gonna apply one and see how long it lasts throughout the day um, especially because of the weather and the humidity and I wanted to really see um, if it's going to maintain its like dewiness or does it turn a little bit more matte? So as you can see, the color actually matches really, really well. So I can't complain about that. It doesn't feel cakey or pasty. Uh, definitely probably have to set it with a powder because you can still feel how, I guess kind of how moist it is. So I am going to use my Physician's Formula uh, powder, which I've kind of grown to like and see how it does. It's a very light powder, so you can use translucent powder if you want to. I feel like this kind of gives me a little bit more coverage, a little bit more color, and um, just makes any kind of imperfections hide a little bit more. And I know with the lighting, my skin looks extremely pale, uh, but I'm actually not that pale. Uh, I think this was like the second or the third lightest shade that they had. So I was trying to get this product as soon as it came out into the store. And I've been, you know, going to the drugstores and looking and looking. And the only one that they had was that matte one, which I never bought and tried because I swatched it in the store. Uh, and I left it on my arm. The lightest shade, it still looked yellow. And so I knew it would not match me. And then uh, it was just so dry, uh, it just didn't seem like it would blend in very nicely. And I prefer more of a dewy finish than a matte. So I definitely don't think that I would benefit from that foundation. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze myself up with this ten, uh, Tentastic bronzer that I got not too long ago. The packaging is really cool. That was like one number, number one thing that, the reason I bought this is because it opens on the side like this. Um, I have ruined a lot of my bronzers, so, and I think a lot of the times is depending on the cap, 
if once it crumbles it's a bit hard to have a clean counter space or a clean bag so a lot of times I can't travel with them anymore so they just kind of stay at home and I use them when I can but I love this bronzer it's very lightweight but it does give you like a really nice shade and it has a little bit of shimmer so it kind of helps the foundation to look a little bit more glowy so I don't know if you can see this is pretty much the finished uh, foundation routine that I kind of did and I set it with the physician's formula powder and the um, Milani cosmetics bronzer and so I'm going to test it out for a couple of hours and see how it holds off and then I'm gonna come back and just kind of share my experience of what I think um, it feels like I mean right now that I set with the powder it doesn't feel sticky so that's a plus I don't like uh, and it still kind of does give you that little shine so I, I do kind of like that um, and I think if you wanted a little bit more dewy you could probably set it with a setting spray which a lot of times I do that whenever I go for special occasions and I want to make sure it holds for a little bit longer so I'll probably do that and see how I like um, I like it with a setting spray it'll probably give you a little bit more of a dewy look or finish so I'm going to test it out and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys what I think about this foundation and would it be one of my staples that I would use uh, throughout um, my weekdays because as you guys know I am like a drugstore product user um, I am going to try to move up to more of like more expensive foundations just to test them out to see how I like them um, I'm just kind of iffy about spending a lot of money and not really liking the product so um, I am kind of recently or currently have been researching a lot of the foundations and uh, what people really really like or which one works the best that way when I do go buy like the more expensive one then I know that a lot of people really like it and maybe see if they it's the type of skin that they have so I am going to come back so be sure to stay tuned and I will let you know what I think hey I'm back so um, I just ran some errands and did a lot of things at home um, and of course was outside for a little bit so it's been probably about four to five hours um, and so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like after that time that's no touch-ups and so throughout the day I just kept on looking at my face like is it like spreading anywhere is it fading off um, and uh, so far I have to say that I'm very impressed it really didn't crease much underneath the eyes um, and I didn't even use like a, a loose powder to set it so that was very impressive and then it still kind of has that really nice I don't know dewy look so it doesn't look greasy even though my nose kind of gets a little oily and my chin and you could tell it was a little bit more shinier but um, I mean when I pat it it's not like really oily so it's like it's like dewy but at the same time it does give you a little bit of that matte finish um, my face was not itching the whole time so as far as uh, the few hours that I wore it for like five to five uh, five to five about four to five hours that I wore it I actually really really liked it it actually really looks pretty good so out of one out of ten uh, for this foundation um, if I'm going to use this as my daily foundation um, with my Rimmel London kind of going back and forth I actually am feeling that I might like this one better than the Rimmel London one which is very surprising now cost wise this is thir this was $13 at most of your drugstores um, it's a little bit more liquidy but it is more convenient because it's a squeeze tube um, you just have to be careful not to um, leave the lid open and just making sure that you tighten it but it's perfect to travel with and I feel like you get more product out versus like the glass bottles with the pump or without the pump that you actually have to pour out so it actually did really really well so so far um it says wear up to 24 hours which i mean i don't wear my makeup that long but coverage is medium and i have to agree it is um medium coverage um i did say that you can kind of layer it if you need to um, and that's maybe like for special occasions or something like that or if you need one day a little bit more coverage because of some um, issues that you have on your skin you can definitely do that but I honestly feel like 
um, it gave you such a good coverage that you didn't really need to do a second um, a second layer so it worked really really well and then texture it was definitely air light so I definitely agree with that so one out of ten I have to give this a um, nine and the reason I'm giving it a nine is because of the smell the smell just kind of was a little smelled a little bit of like alcohol and so I'm gonna try to see um, how my skin reacts to this and see if it actually is drying to my skin or does it actually um, maintain its moisture um, just because certain ingredients do make you kind of you know break out or make you feel a little bit more drier but this actually done really really well I'm very very impressed so just wanted to do this quick review for you guys uh, with this foundation um, you can apply it with a brush but I applied it with my beauty blender and as you could tell it's super super dirty um, I have to wash it again because I was actually traveling with it but I love this Real Techniques Beauty Blender it's so soft um, and it definitely wants you like moisten it and then just um, what I do is I put it in the towel and just kind of grab it really tight so all access water gets out but it's still really really moist and then I apply it and it's been really doing well for my skin and it blends in very nicely so I uh, definitely would recommend applying this with the Beauty Blender, but you can try with your brush as well if you like to use a foundation brush. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this foundation. I am pretty impressed, um, and I hope this, guys, uh, I hope this helped you guys out so that you don't have to spend money on something that, um, you know, might not work as well. But I'm actually very impressed. So if you see this in the store and if you wanted to try it, um, it's definitely worth buying it for $13 um, I actually really really like it so I'll definitely be keeping you up to date as far as my other makeup looks that I will create I'll definitely be using this foundation so be sure to stay tuned um, and as always create culture and be you and I will see you guys next time um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to do so uh, as I do have a few other things coming your way and I'm really excited that um, you are able to participate with me on this channel Channel by watching, by commenting, by subscribing, by liking. Um, I love seeing your feedback. So if you have any questions or comments about this foundation, if you've tried it, be sure to comment down below and I will respond to you. Um, and um, that's how we'll stay in touch, I guess. Um, but as always, Create Culture will be you. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Um, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>